Remember me? Back in the old life, I was a mob wife. When mob wives had to, we rolled up our sleeveless blouses and helped out with the family business. Like when Jimmy's crew got pinched after a museum job, because Cheech left a DNA sample all over Nefertiti's bust. All right, Gloria's collecting protection money, Mia's intimidating a witness, and Frenchie's cutting heroin with Parmesan cheese. Best smack in the city. So, what do we do? Chick flicks? This ain't girls' night out, ya lazy bum. Then Gloria hauls in Stinky LaRue, a notorious rat Jimmy wanted gone. But there was a problem. Ah, uh, I can't do it. I can't get blood all over this pantsuit. Don't look at me. I just had these nails done. I ate washing no skull fragments out of my new roots. I was almost gonna let that scumbag go, but I had an idea. All right, f nuts. Before we do this, you're gonna sit here with us and watch a movie. Ooh, the vanilla lace tea cozy. 90 minutes of awkward English people stammering about their feelings. <laughs> Who wants popcorn? I don't know, Cook. Even for the mob, death by chick flick is a little cruel and unusual. But no one in the family ever read it again. Yeah, right. And we're in Regina on freaking holidays. If you think Canada's gonna make me any less cruel and unusual, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. How about this one? I already got to tell your brother to tuck in his shirt. I ain't telling you to tuck in your privates. My clothes express my individuality. Stop trying to census me. How about this? It says material girl with a hint of like a virgin. What the hell are you talking about? You know, Madonna. Lady Gaga's grandma? If we weren't in public, I'd smack you right in your stupid mouth. Teen troubles, Cookie? Oh, hey, Annabelle. You know how it is with teenagers. Can't live with them, can't drown them in the river. Well, we can't all be super parents. How do they fit, darling? Like I'm wearing miracles, Mother! What's with Billy Elliot over there? That's my son, Donnie. He's testing a pair of dance pants for this year's Regina's Got Talent competition. Regina's Got Talent? It's a performing arts contest. No, I'm asking. Regina's Got Talent? Yes. And my Donnie's won three years in a row. Right, Superstar? Ain't you two a pair? More like a team. It's amazing what happens when you don't threaten your children with abuse. Hey, me and Teresa are a team, too. Well, Twinkie, your teammate just abandoned you. Teresa, get back here right now, or so help me, I'll hug you so hard. Why do you want me to sign up for a talent show, Ma? I thought about what you said in the store. You were right about expressing your individuality, and this is a great way to do it. So it's a wet t-shirt contest? You got a beautiful singing voice, Teresa, and I want you to share it with the world. <sighs> My nose is crying. I'm not used to you saying nice things about me. Well, get used to it, teammate, because you deserve it. Take it easy, Ma. Who knows what's in that blood? Jimmy, what are you doing here? Regina Tourism sponsors this event, so I gotta sit here and sign up all the wannabes and losers. Well, Teresa's signing up. Did I say losers? I meant shining stars of tomorrow. Donna! You guys are the best! You're talented too, Gina, but this contest ain't for you. Pop, I got no intention of entering Regina's Got Assholes. Well, that's good, because you can't. What do you mean, can't? Age limit's 10 and over. You're too young, so you can't. 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 You let it go, Gina. Can't. There's some things can't. you can't do. Can't. can't. But this ain't one of them. Can't. 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 Shut up! Now, McCool, just because my daughter's in this, I don't want you showing any favoritism. Unless you're open to that. In which case, I can make it worth your while. 
Do you know why I've been asked to judge this contest three years in a row, Jimmy? Because no one else will do it? And my integrity. I am unbribable. I'm always the bribe's maid, never the bribe. <laughs> Toby for Jimmy. Toby for Jimmy. Hey, Toby, what's up? Toby for Jimmy. Come in, Jimmy. <sighs> Go for Jimmy. Oh, there you are. Aren't these headsets amazing? Anyway, I have terrible news. Turns out Dick Clark is dead. We need a new MC. Did someone say MC? Have you ever MC'd before, Uncle Cheech? I certainly have, young lady. If any of you's got any allergies, whip out your EpiPens, cause here comes Peanut Butter Cookies. Sorry I'm late. I had to finish the word parts for my first number. Number? It's like the one I sang at Uncle Luigi's thing, remember? He's shaking his ass just sharp as a knife. It's non-stop booty, just don't tell his wife. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it at Club Afterlife. Yeah. Yeah! Wait till they hear my new song, Labia of Love. Teresa, honey. The judges want to hear classics. Then I'll sing one of my classy ballads, like Angel with the Fake Tits. You cried when I sang it at Christina's communion. We all did, honey. But if you want to make it past the first round, you gotta keep things wholesome. Okay, I'll try, but let's not go overboard. Of course not. Now tape down your boobs and put on this nun's outfit. Now to help us forget the human pretzel practically licking his own balls, Here's our next act, g Dog and Enviro Pete. Now remember, I'm not your sister, I'm a doll. You sure are. Thanks for encouraging me to do this. My unique brand of edutainment is just what the people need. Shut the f up, we're on. Hey, g Doll, do you know why the ecosystem is in so much trouble? Because the owners of big factories are a bunch of dummies. Just like me. <sighs> Talk about an ego system. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, everyone, think globally, act jokily. The ventriloquism's quite impressive, but the material's atrocious. Bring back the ball liquor! <laughs> It's only 60 pounds. Cause you'll have a great old time at the good old ball game. Stay neutral, old chap. Stay neutral. Looks like Teresa might make it through to the next round. And it looks like you might be crapping your pants. Well, get ready to eat it. Next up, we got a three-time winner, a one-man dance armada. And a true patriot. Let's give a warm vagina welcome to Nani Westminster! It's freaking amazing! Makes that nun's routine look like a bowl of piss! That nun was Teresa! Oh, sorry. This kid makes Teresa look like a bowl of piss. You want us to fix the talent contest? Not the whole contest, just that freaking Donnie! He's unbeatable! Then I guess we'll have to beat some beatable into him. Anyone asks, I've been here all day. You have been here all day. Exactly. Cook, I'm not hurting a kid over a contest. Unless there's a cash prize. How much are we talking? It's a trophy and bragging rights. What am I, an amateur? And trust me, no one in that show is going to do any bragging. Especially that boring nun. She's next on my list, Cook. That's Teresa! You want to end this contest or not? Okay, forget it. I guess I'll just have to be a better mother and put way more pressure on Teresa. Everywhere that matters. Sure to go. Stay on 
the high note. The high note! I don't believe the lamb's following, Mary. Convince me! Visualize your goals! Reactualify your happitude! You're just making those words up. Don't talk back to your life coach, Muffin Top. This is un, excuse my language, frickin' acceptable, Mother. Why didn't you hire me a life coach? Uh, I never... Never wanted me to win? Obviously. Ugh, I'm getting flushed. Fan. Donnie, you have nothing to worry about. Too dry. Spritz! Oh, are you trying to drown me? Donnie, calm down. Teresa's good, but you're better. I guess I'm gonna have to handle this because you're more useless than a donated appendix. Oh, Donnie. Fly like a dove, it's a labia of love. Hey, we agreed. No original songs. But I'm almost done writing it. I just need something that rhymes with reach around. Do you want to win this thing or not? Original songs, eh? <gasps> that gives me an idea. Go get the car, Annabelle. In <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. God help you if I get to ten. We barely squeaked into this round, Gina, so we really have to nail it. Don't forget, be the message. Sure thing, Petey. Folks, if you need to use the crapper, now's a good time. Because it'll smell better than this next act. I hate this guy. Oh. By the way, I changed our name. Oh, it's nice you're getting involved. Please welcome Little G. That's fun. And Dick Bart. Gina. Uh, ahem, <clears throat> okay. Hey, little G, tell us what you know about fracking. That's when you dig a hole in the backyard and fart in it. <laughs> then this fracking loser shoves his head in and sniffs. <laughs> right to the kisser. Ha, 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 jokes aside, um, do you know the size of your carbon footprint, little G? Two inches, just like your dick. <laughs> Gina, cut it out. Yes, um, carbon emissions should be on everyone's minds. Along with the polar ice caps. Yes, thank you. Do you know why the ice caps are melting? Because you jerk off in the shower? <laughs> Dick Bart's getting served! So, why did you ask me out, Donnie? I like you, Teresa. You're a good kid, and I want to give you some advice about the biz nasty. I got it directly from Al Pacino, as uh, acting coach's website. Wow, you are connected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've slept my way around the entertainment block, sweetheart. Had my fair share of mouthies, VTs. VTs? Oh, vagina touches. <laughs> so naive. Donnie, have you ever actually been with a girl? Are you kidding? <laughs> Any more tangy poon for me and my G-spot's just gonna fall right off. What part of this is the advice? This part. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you need to do something original. You mean like an original song? Yes! Oh! But who has those, right? I, I do. I write my own songs. You do? And you're not singing them? Um, are you trying to lose? But I promised Ma I'd wait until I won. Waiting's for tables, baby. Speaking of which, who do I got a blow jam to get another shake around here? We always laugh at you, but who knew you had real comedy chops? When that creepy troll doll accused you of clear-cutting the cheese... Oh, my ribs, Petey! My ribs! Gina, you should have seen this kid. He's a natural. Yeah, but his material's a little highbrow for Gina here. Now, let's not forget about the environmental message. I'm an edutainer, first and foremost. The reviewer says you've redefined the part of self-deprecating humor with refreshing brilliance. Um, I heard the dummy's pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, but without Petey, there's no act. It's just a hideous little puppet. Ooh, creepiest thing I ever seen. What's the G stand for, anyway? Grotesque? I thought it was just, God help me. No, it stands for, guys, look what just fell out of my ass. <laughs> 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 Now that we eliminated all the riffraff, it's time to hit the snooze button for the opposite of entertainment, Teresa Meduga. It's super drama, Fraggle Rock spaghetti is delicious. Ah, oh, forget that crap.
crap. Regina, make some noise! Clap your hands, come on! Ah, oh, oh, yeah! This is a Teresa McDougal original Christmas jam. It's called Bust Your Chestnut on an Open Fire. There's a super cool guy made of big snowballs, and he's having a bush party for all. I don't know what's sadder, how hard you tried or how badly she's failing. So get your butts to the bonfire. This is a race. He's gonna bust some Christmas cheer all over your face. Snip my foreskin and color me Jewish because Christmas is dead to me. Relax, Ma. I made it through to the next round, didn't I? Only by the skinny of teeth, thanks to that humpy dog act getting disqualified. <laughs> Toby, for security! Toby, for security! Where are you, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell told you to do your own song? Donnie, he told me to be original. Teresa Falcone, you got played! My song got played, and once I find a rhyme for Reach Around, I'ma be dropping another sound bomb, yo! Now the only way we'll beat Annabelle is if Donnie gets kneecapped. So that's why you made me enter this, to beat Donnie's mom? Who's playing who, Ma? I wasn't playing you. I was encouraging you. By making me dress like a nun and sing about baseball? You were a nun trying to keep orphans off drugs by getting them into sports. It's called a backstory, Teresa. You know what? You're in this for you, not for me. Teresa, wait! Ah, balls! You're welcome, Mother. Once again, I solved the problem. Now, can you handle getting me a smoothie, or is that too much for you, you dried up old cow? Oh, and I'm gonna need a new phone, because this one's broken! I freaking hate other people's kids. Kickball change and a funky hips. Eye on the prize, eye on the prize. No, 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 no. Who's a bad boy? That's me. Who's a bad boy? That's me. How do girls pee? Who knows? Do the running man. Go, Donnie! Go, Donnie! It's about time. You best have my smoothie. Hey, who, who are you? No. No! No! Are you ready, little G? What do I know? I'm just a dummy. Dick Bob! Say, little G, I bet you have something funny to say about me and the terrible effects of nanopollution. Little G? <laughs> Do you have a frog in your throat? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, frogs in mountainous areas are most affected by climate change. What do you think about that, little G? Make the troll talk! Come on, say something! Yeah, make the gargoyle emasculate you! <laughs> I'm a gargoyle? This from a guy with a baboon's ass for a face! <laughs> Does old McDonald know you left the farm, you fucking donkey? <laughs> hey, McCool! A shot says pardon me? Uh, pardon me? <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you did! Hey, everyone! The gremlin called me a shot! <laughs> Stop the show! Look who I found out by the dumpster! Uh, Donnie! I've been knee-banged! Calm down, everyone! I'm a police officer. I'll get to the bottom of this. Donnie, tell us who banged you. I was out back, waiting forever for my mother to bring me my smoothie when someone ran up and hit me right in my knee. My dancing knee! <gasps> Did you recognize the assailant? He was wearing a mask. You mean she was wearing a mask? <gasps> how could you, Ma? Yeah, how could you? I had dibs. Me? I had nothing to do with this admittedly fortunate turn of events. Oh, right. So when you said the only way I'd win is if Donnie got kneecapped, you were being psychic. Oh, my God, Ma, are you psychic? She's a witch! Is someone going to call an ambulance? Cookie, I'm afraid I'm going to have to inquire as to your wear a... <laughs> Shart. So good. <clears throat> anyway, where were you when this happened? I was nowhere near Donnie. I was backstage working on Teresa's song. I even found the rhyme you were looking for. 
Just reach around and make a happy sound, huh? Why did you finish my song for me? Donnie may have been playing you, but he was right. You gotta be yourself. Stop upstaging me! It's my time to shine! Mine! None of this would have happened were it not for the incompetent shrew who birthed me. Donnie, don't. Shut your kale hole. If you'd have been there on time with my smoothie, you could have taken the hit for me. But you didn't. Why? Because you're a selfish, greedy, evil... <laughs> Fine! It was me! And I would have got away with it if I'd just hit him again in front of everyone. Damn it! <coughs> Kneecapping your own kid? That shit is cold. I'll tell you what's cold. Diva Donnie making me walk beside the car on the way home from his singing lessons in the dead of winter because I was taking up too much oxygen. Oh, I could go on! He's a monster! Mother, how could you? Oh, shut up, you fucking drama queen. You know, we may not have the best relationship, but at least we're not these clowns. I love you. I love you too, Bob. Ah, now you got my nose crying. Not so fast, madam. A real crime has been committed. I have no choice but to arrest... Oh, the results are in. This year's winner of Regina's Got Talent is... Dick Fart and Little G! What? Who's Little Dick and G Fart? Ha! <laughs> you said I was too young to enter, but I did, and I won! Take that, you mother... Porky's revenge! It's alive! Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> but Canada, where even the most heroic must sometimes flee in terror! <laughs> oh, so everyone gets a shot but Cheech? It's my oh. turn, kid. <laughs> Saskatchewan, la 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 Folks, hit the floor and keep the crying to a minimum. Anyone moves, you let me know. Oh, oh. They moved. I don't remember that. The FBI does. I spent two years on the most wanted list for that one. Anyway, after that, I decided to keep work and kids separate. After I showed you how it's done. No, because jobs come and go, but families forever. Yeah, like herpes. Ah, uh, herpes ain't forever. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, God! Would you guys shut up? Just think of other people and finish already. Go back to sleep, Teresa! How can I with the golden age of porn knocking down my wall? We better be real quiet. <laughs> mm. 
Yo. Oh, oh. Uh. You sound like a walrus and a seal fighting over a fish. Keep it down, Sea World. Let's go find somewhere more private. Where's my robe? I just came to say goodnight. Uh. <laughs> I'm still turned on. Keytel Records? That's a Harvest Moon if ever I saw one. For Christ's sake, McCool, what do you want? I didn't mean to interrupt this nostalgic reenactment of prom night, Jimmy. I'll come back. Ah, oh, forget it, McCool. The moment's passed. What do you need? For starters, Cookie, I can't help but notice your airbags are deployed. Here, take my jacket. A colleague of mine is going away on assignment, and her house sitter backed out at the last minute. Thank God you came to us. Really? No, you jackass. Who cares about your friend? I'll do it. I can't get any sleep with the walking dead here moaning all night. Yes, I got an eyeful of that outside and subsequently won't eat for a week, but I think this is a job for your brother. That is so unfair. Just because Petey's a boy, you think he's more compliment than me. The word is competent. Oh, so now I'm stupid because I'm a girl? Certainly not. I would never discriminate on the basis of gender. And even though I didn't, I will offer you the job. Just to be safe. That's the Canadian way! Yes! For Canada! <laughs> where Equal Opportunity just got a girl an unpaid internship! Fifty bucks says she burns the joint down in an hour. Give me forty, I'll do it right now. Teresa, you have three priorities whilst house-sitting for my colleague. Money up front, no kissing, back doors extra? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. You must keep the house spotless and feed the dogs regularly. <laughs> They're like friends who never judge. And then there's Siegfried. Who's Siegfried? Siegfried is a dwarf alligator, my friend's pride and joy. What? Beware, he likes to bite. How am I supposed to pick it up? Very carefully. <laughs> that gator is the coolest thing i ever seen. I'm staying here too. As am I. As am I? No wonder bullies tape your ass shut. I don't know if everyone staying over is a good idea. It's a great idea, Cook. We'll get everybody out of the house. Besides, Teresa can totally take care of that creepy lizard. This creepy lizard can take care of himself. Now, who wants to cook me dinner? You hear that silence? It's glorious. No kids hounding us. Let's take advantage of this peace and quiet while we can. Yeah, why hop in the sack right away? We got all night. Yeah, we're empty nesters. I'm gonna go take a long, hot bubble bath. Good idea, babe. I'm gonna catch up on my re... You got condoms, big boy? Yeah, yeah, right here. I even got the glow-in-the-dark ones. Are you nuts? We need those. I want you right now, Jimmy. And you don't gotta worry about being premature, because I don't mind. Really? I can just... Wait a sec, I know what this is. You want another baby! What? Don't be silly. A baby? That's bananas. 
I just want to make a baby with my husband. I mean, make love to a baby. I mean, make a love baby. I... <sighs> Fine. If you don't wanna, maybe it's for the breasts. I mean, breast milk. I mean, ah, oh, forget it. You wanna have another baby? Are you nuts? We got four <laughs> kids already. We got three. I'm counting Cheech. Come on. Having a kid now would be like shanking a guy in the shower two days before parole. Boom, another 20 year stretch. I'm putting my foot down. Both foots. No more kids. Okay, fine. The man has spoken. I guess I'll just polish this little spot here on the coffee table. Oh, so dirty, Jimmy. Uh, uh. Ow, my neck! Sit down, I'll give you a massage. All right, but no trying to seduce me, Kabish. I know what you were doing there with the magic swirling ass. Oh, that feels good, oh yeah. Your hands are so soft. Hey, that's not fair! Cut it out! Look at this mess. You're really living up the people's low expectations here. Way I see it, before we leave, we make Petey clean everything up. And people call you that dumb one. Let's make some work for him. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun. <laughs> I just took Ziggy for a three-hour walk to the end of the driveway. Alligators are kind of boring. He don't look too good. Anybody feed him? I filled his bowl with tofu. Tofu? He's a connoisseur. He needs meat. Here you go, little fella. Ha! You're gonna have to move faster than that, ugly. You probably shouldn't do that. Nah, he loves it, right? Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! That's what you get for teasing him. Let him go! Don't hurt him! Oh my god, Cheech! Oh no, Ziggy! Didn't you feed the dogs? Again, tofu. Cool! Ha! He missed. <laughs> Lucky I got away. Cookie's knocker's got a kung fu grip. Give me the sperm, big boy. No! It's mine! Until I squeeze it out of you, then it's mine. All mine! <laughs> Kids gotta come home. Cookie's gone baby crazy. What happened? You teased the gator? You know me so well. What are you so worked up about? You don't want a baby, just don't have sex with Cookie. Yeah, you're right, but... Uh... What is it? Uh, it's just we haven't, you know, done it in a couple of weeks, and I, uh... Ah, you got what the medical professionals call blue ball. <gasps> Let me tell you a little secret I learned in prison. Okay, stop talking. No, oh, that's only to get cigarettes. I'm talking about beating it like it owes you money. I can't do that in the house. Cook's like a bloodhound. She'll smell the baby better a mile away and confiscate it. It's like a seven cents. We all know what a six one is. Ew, who was that? <laughs> it was Petey. I know your brand, mister. Oh, I once broke wind in Reno and she called to rag me out. So, she's got a nose for farts and man milk. You don't gotta yank it in the house. There's lots of other places. Bus shelters, department store change rooms, back pew to church. I get it! I'll figure it out. Good. In the meantime, I'll talk some sense into Cookie. You go find some place to have a nice little masturbate. <gasps> oh, don't look at me, lady. He's the one about to abuse himself like a circus monkey. <laughs> Cookie, look at this crap. Kids cost a fortune, and what do you get for it? Stinky diapers and a lot of back talk. I get that from you already. Besides, babies are wonderful. You can't beat that baby smell. 
their little feet. All the sweet sounds they make. They do make cute little sounds. And that nice, warm feeling when they snuggle on you. Ooh, I love that snuggly feeling. Reminds me of my old soulmate, Rapey Joe. The way they gaze up at you, knowing that you're their entire universe, and they love you like no one has ever loved you before. Now I want a baby. Aren't you sterile? You mean senile. And yes, Dolores, I will have a donut. All right, I'm out. Looking for dogs is beneath me. Galak suckers. Not so fast. The dogs will wander back, but we need a new Siegfried. No, we don't. Who cares, Teresa? I pushed for this job. If I screw it up, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah, gonna. I am not dealing with Ma saying, you see, Petey should have been the house sitter. F him. I'm right here. It's just an expression, Petey. Anyway, I need you both to get on board and help me find an alligator. Why would you need to find an alligator, Teresa? Uh, cause Cheech really took to Siggy and wants one for himself. I always pegged Cheech for an animal lover. Although on some level, I imagined that literally. Of course, alligators are tricky to find in Regina. You can ask my colleague about it when she returns home tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Her assignment was cut short. She can't wait to feel the leathery embrace of Siegfried again. And she'll be thrilled he'll have a chum for future play dates. Good luck in your search. All right, I'm back in. Aw, thanks, Gina. I don't want to miss everyone going ballistic when you screw this up. <laughs> Cheech, how'd it go talking to Cook? Not good. <clears throat> how about you? Did you manage to take your hand out for a liquid lunch? <clears throat> no, and I'm dying here. Tell Cookie to lay off the dirty texts. I gotta go. I'm feeling lightheaded. Did you get my picture? Because I'm sending you about 200 more. Cook, please, stop. <laughs> That's it! I can't take this no more! Regina Tourism! Let me tell you what I want to do to you, big boy. First, I'm gonna... Oh, my! All right, Jimbo, man up and do this. What kind of heartless world is this where a guy can't find a place to have a tender moment with himself? That'll do. Well, Tree, I guess I'm gonna tap you with my sap. <laughs> my own! <laughs> okay, God, I get it. It's a sin. Fucking lay off, will ya? All right, citizens, disperse. There's nothing to see here. Brian Adams' bleeding fingers. What are you doing up there? Trying to avoid sex with my wife? Get down, Jimmy. Who? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. So what's all this about avoiding sex with Cookie? I don't want her getting pregnant. That's all you gotta know. I see. Well, why not get a vasectomy? How is converting to Jewism gonna help? No, that's circumcision. A vasectomy is different. You want me to cut the whole thing off? Like a Ken doll? No, it's when your vast deference get clipped and clamped. Well, it's probably easier if I show you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Did you step in something, Jimmy? Nope. And all I know about that stuff is it's the devil's work. No, it's not. And if you want to have worry-free relations with Cookie, this way is 100% effective. Are you sure you don't smell something ripe? For Canada, where God does it ever stink! Oh, this'll drive Jimmy wild. God, my back is killing me. Careful, lady, that same outfit got me into this mess in the first place. But you're so blessed. Blessed? 
That's cute. You got kids? I'm almost pregnant with my fourth. Whoopee. I'm almost gonna kill myself. But isn't it wonderful having that little miracle growing inside you? <laughs> There's your miracle, lady. Is that you or me? I can't feel anything but my hemorrhoids burning like a ghost pepper butt plug. But you're both about to receive the most amazing gift. A child to hold and love and imprint all your failures on. Some freaking gift. I poop whenever I sneeze. All right, Jimmy. You can do this. One little snip and... <laughs> <laughs> my boys. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy my bulls a farewell drink. There's one. Oh, looks like a snappy little bastard. So how do we get it? Easy. We lower Gina down by her legs and she grabs it. I'm not going in there. But you're the smallest. You're the ugliest. If your face gets ripped off, no one will know the difference. Come here. Gina, stop! Stop it, you two! If we want to catch an alligator, we're gonna need some bait. <laughs> so, which of these lizards swallowed the diamond? The small one, Cheech. But keep your eye on the big one. Got it, he's the muscle. You fellas would look good on my feet. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Just like Coney Island. the bottle. What are you doing here? Hey, cook. I needed a drink. I was at the vasectomy clinic. You got a vasectomy? But Father O'Malley told us that's how the terrorists win. Relax. I didn't do it. Look, if it's between having another kid or having some doctor shove scissors into my nutsack... <laughs> what I mean is I love you, cook. If you want a baby, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I'll lie on top of you. Hey! Hey, there's the chick who wants to shove a bowling ball out her hoo-ha. Yeah? Well, at least I don't poke my pants. Yeah, if she wanted to, she could shove two bowling balls out her... Stop helping, Jimmy. It's a shame we gotta cut this cute little fellow open. I already told ya! There's no diamond! I faced death for that rock. It's real to me. They're back. Oh, crap. They got a taste for lizard meat. All right, uh, toss them the data. Never. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. We'll turn Petey's room into a nursery. He'll go in Cheech's room, and Cheech moves into the garage. Come on, have a heart. Make Petey move into the garage. Or, or the bus shelter down the street. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's what we all want. Look! <laughs> You'll never take my baby. Never! Take my baby! <gasps> Sit! That's better. Stay away from my kids, you bitches! They're females, right? You're taking care of them and you don't even. Ah! Oh, it is on, you motherfucking dogs! Look at you, kids! Your mother had to get rabies shots in her guts because of you. And this is how you thank her? Don't worry about it. I'm just glad they're home. Teresa, I'm very cross with you. Rosa's house was left in an abysmal state. For some reason, the dogs won't come out from under the porch, and Siegfried is missing. What? We put that gator back. Yo, cook, the kid's latching, but I'm not producing. Do I breastfeed on the left side or on the right? Cheech, give Siegfried back to me this instant. What's with your face? You get crap in your eyes or something? No, why do you ask? Wanna sneak upstairs and see if we can flag down a stork? Huh? I was being cute. I meant let's go put a load of baby in you. We're right here. We can hear ya. <sighs> I think maybe I'm okay, Jimmy. I'm better off counting the two blessings I already got. There's three of us. Shut up, Petey. You sure? Yeah, baby. I know you came around to the idea. I hope you're not too disappointed. Yeah! All right! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, baby! La 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 
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la how you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former New York copper. In the old life, the feds were always up in my business. These guys had ears everywhere, and by ears, I mean bugs. But I didn't let that keep me from being a normal family man. Someone! That's my girl. Messing with the feds was a game. I got the fat bastard right here, and I'm gonna chop off his legs and feed him to the dogs! On the ground, now! Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha! Oh, good one, Jimmy. I'd offer you guys a turkey sandwich, but fuck you. If it was real important, we talk in code. But that came with its own problems. Cheech, I need you to pick up the magic potion from the Maharaja and take it to the wizard. And make sure you look into his crystal ball. Gabish. Gabish. By magic potion, you mean he ate keys of heroin, right? On the ground, now! Now that I'm in witness protection living in Canada, I don't ever gotta worry about bugs again! Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped him, they could him as a pawn, so he ratted out his friends and moved to us, catch you one. Forget about it, forget about it, forget about it, oh, forget about it. Cookie, that was superb. You're a regular George Foreman in the kitchen. Thanks, Jimmy. And now for the knockout, cannoli. <clears throat> James McDougal. Who's asking? Angus McTavish. Don't ring a bell. Do I know you? No, lad, but our ancestors fought on the moors for three centuries. This weekend, you and I pay tribute to their bravery at the Regina Highland Games! Uh, speaking the English? I'm throwing down the gauntlet, laddie. See you at the caber toss! Go, McTab! Who was that? Some Australian lunatic in a skirt. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna regret asking, but what's your problem? There's this Dutch exchange student at school, Yetzi. No one pays attention to him. He said he feels invisible. And you care about Dutchy, why? I consider it a civic duty to aid new students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleeding heart, save the whales, help the Dutchman. I get it. Here's my advice. School's like prison. He wants a rep? Tell him to kick someone's ass. Gina, not every problem can be solved through violence. I'm not helping you with a dishes no more. You got it? Okay. See, Petey? I had a problem and violence solved it. Want me to demonstrate again? No. I'd appreciate it if you could keep riffraff like Scotty McBozo off of my doorstep. But you're a McDougal now. The Scottish community is finally inviting you into the fold. You just had to go and make me Scottish, didn't you? Why couldn't you just make me Italian? Because you'd have been too easily identified as ex-mafioso. Oh, so Italian automatically means mob to you? You racist sack of shit. I ought to put one in your head, run your body through a meat grinder, and bury you in cement! But I take your point. So you'll attend the games then? Not a chance. If you refuse this challenge, the Scottish Canadian Times will brand you a coward. You'll wind up on their shite list, along with other things Scottish people hate, like the Queen, underwear, and fresh vegetables. Do you want your friends back home to find your picture in gear, Jimmy? I guess not. Then have fun at the games for Canada, where every culture gets a ridiculous summer fair. Remember, everybody be cool and act like you're Scottish. Just be crabby and cheap. Don't worry, Jimmy, we'll blend right in with these weirdos. Uncle Cheech, stay out of my closet. 
That's a good color on you. So, your lily-livered McDougals grew up here and showed up. Welcome to the Highland Games, you wankers. Thank you for inviting us. Don't get a swelled head, lassie. Every Scot in the phone book was invited. Right, to the kitchen with you, Nessie. You're on Haggis duty. Go on! Those sheep's stomachs don't stuff themselves. Blend. Ah! Oh. To the field of combat, lads! Or should I say, lassies? <laughs> See? Blending right in. Let me get this straight. We gotta cook this thing's stomach. How are we gonna get it out, ma? Same way your father did with Joey the Fink. Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh! Ah. Oh. oh, look at that! Hammer toss! Beat that, McDougal! You know, this kind of reminds me of collecting protection money back home. <laughs> Off the field! <laughs> You throw like a bloody Englishman. Thanks, Angie. That's supposed to be an insult, you tit. I salute you. <laughs> Wheat sheaf toss. Snack on that, McDougal. This reminds me of the time we threw Big Cheese Romano off the roof. <laughs> Something's missing. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> and you call yourself a Scott. Why don't you change your name to Scott? Ah! Ooh! Oh, it's on. <laughs> what you doing? That's my girlfriend. I mean... Uh, my mascot! There's a raft of sheep stomachs in the fridge, you daft Marys! Oh. Watch your back, lamb chop. <laughs> Chamber toss in your face, McDougal! This reminds me of something, too. <laughs> uh, I guess I never killed no one with a tree trunk before. What, you've been living in a cave? <laughs> <laughs> Off the field again! Oh, victory for Clan McTavish! Good game, Anus! <laughs> Jimmy, aren't you mad he beats you? You're the sorest loser I know. Did I lose, Cheech? Did I? McCall! Mahoose! William! Oh, William, me baby brother! Ah, but that's what you get for not going to the games, you bastard! Sorry, Yetzi. Who would have guessed the Saturday Academic Achievers Jamboree was just a bunch of grade-grubbing dorks? But don't worry, we'll find you some cool friends. <laughs> My sister suggested you pick a fight with someone to get noticed, which is totally absurd. Yetzi, cut it out! That's not going to work! Will you stop it? That's enough! <gasps> Ah, sh**. Yetzi, I'm so sorry. Wait, you forgot your teeth. Hey, everyone. Thought I'd drop in. Oh, look. It's eccentric billionaire Richard Wheatthin. Do I smell haggis, or is that Jimmy's feet? <laughs> and he brought a studio audience to laugh at his dumb jokes. Might I say, Cookie, you look delicious. Can I try a bite? When it comes to haggis, I'm a bit of a gastronome. I've eaten it all around the world. Around the world? That would make you a gastronaut! Seriously? That was gold! Mmm, amazing. You can barely taste the intestines. Cookie, I have a proposition for you. I've been getting propositioned all day. <laughs> that gets a laugh? You're a bunch of dicks. This is my Scottish restaurant, Wee Wee Wheat Thins. For some reason, business has been slow. But I think we can turn this place around with Cookie 
as my new executive chef. Wow, Jimmy, what do you think? What's that think about? You can do this in your sleep. But who'll run the house? I will. How hard can it be to take care of two kids? Three kids. See, we'll all be learning new things. Go for it. It might be fun. In that case, Mr. Weathin, I accept. To whom, Betty? I was stirring in the kilt, and I'm feeling a wee bit bad. I'm your new chef, Cookie McDougal. Now, I'm a little new to Scottish cooking, but I've been doing a wee bit of research, and I'm sure all you lads and lassies will be great. <laughs> These have been in the freezer for three months, and you want to serve them to customers? This is a restaurant, you jag off, not a Viet Cong prison camp! Are you sweating in the soup? What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? Screw it! Let's just serve them warmed over piss! Squat down! No? Then start over! You can't cry in the kitchen. If I see one more of you motherfuckers crying in here, it's in the fucking oven you go, head first. You think I'm playing? <laughs> and let that be a lesson to all of you. meat in pan. This stuff's red, but it'll have to do. Add onion. Done. Why doesn't it look like the picture? Daddy, I need help with my homework. I'm a little busy, but... What's the capital of Canada? That's easy. Capital C. Daddy, I only eat gluten-free. Is that gluten-free? Don't worry. I ain't gonna charge you. Pop, I broke Yetzi's jaw. Good for you, son. But he's my friend. So you straightened out your friend. I'm proud of you. But I feel like a monster. I said I'm proud of you. I quit fishing for compliments. Daddy, can you hand wash my bras and panties? Oh, I ain't touching that stuff. Pop, what's in a nook, sugar? Mom does it. Pop, is that meat sauce? I don't eat anything with a face. We're having face for dinner? I want a chicken fingers. Daddy, I gotta make a solar system. Daddy, I need clean panties. Pop, I almost killed Yetzi. I want a chicken finger. I think I need counseling. Daddy. Pop, Daddy. I almost killed Yetzi. Chicken fingers! Yeah! That's it! Go to bed, all of you. But it's only 6.30. I said go to bed. <clears throat> you know what? Change my order to face. You too, Cheech. Bed. But Jimmy, you might have to take off this belt. I'll be good. I hope Yetzi's in school today. I feel terrible about... What the hell? Aw, oh, poor little Yetzi. Do you want another blended cheeseburger? Hey, there's the bully that did this to Yetzi. <laughs> Gina's wrong. High school's not like prison. Though I do have goo all over my face. I bet that happens in prison. Amazing, Cookie. In just one week, you've totally turned this place around. How did you do it? Get the hell out of my kitchen. I'm trying to work here. <laughs> now, now. I am your boss. Sorry, sorry. Mom, Pop ruined my underwear. He made me go to bed at 6.30 last night. I've been up since 3 a.m. I ain't naming no names but a certain fat ass ruined my homework. Jimmy! I need a change. What the hell? Look at this freaking place. There's footprints on the ceiling, the TV's on fire, and why am I standing in three feet of water? Oh, for God's sake, where's your father? Jimmy! Hey, Cook. What the hell's going on here? Nice to see you, too. Look at this place. What exactly do you do all day? Besides work nine to five? Okay, 10 to 3, 11 to 2 with a long lunch. I'm busting my butt at the restaurant 24-7, and you can't even keep this house going? Me? 
What kind of mother leaves her family starving and laundry lists and having to figure out the capitals of Canada all by themselves? What about your womanly duties? Oh, of course, my womanly duties. How could I forget? Remind me again what those are. Like having dinner ready on the table for your husband? Like it says in the Bible? What part of the Bible says that? You know, the part where Jesus fights the whale. I thought this restaurant thing was gonna be a nice little hobby. Did you just say nice little hobby? That's it, I'm out of here. Where you going? Back to work, where I get some respect. I respect you plenty. It's not like I told you to get in the kitchen, take off your top and make me a sandwich. Which actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> Since Cookie won't listen to Reason or the Bible, we gotta shut this place down. You know, for the good of the kids. Kills me to see him neglected like that. Special Agent McCool, nice of you to drop by. <laughs> Full disclosure, Cookie, I sometimes moonlight as the regional health inspector. Well, I'd offer you a bribe, but my kitchen is so spotless, you could eat off the floor. Speaking of which, you done licking the floor yet, Rodney? Don't worry, Cookie. My visit tonight is strictly as a haggis and cockaleeky craving customer. Waiter, there's a hand in my soup. <coughs> and you're closed. You can't do this. Sorry, Cookie. Wee Wee Wheat Thins is now officially a crime scene. Jeez, tough break, Cook. But hey, you had a good run. No shame in that. Oh, for shame, there's a foot in the salad bar. You're a great chef. You deserve success. And you would have had it, but what are you going to do? It's the unpredictable hand of fate. Actually, it was the hand of Lorenzo. What I'm saying is, maybe this is a sign that your place is at home with your family and their laundry. You're right, Jimmy. Nothing to do now but take my failed ass home. Bada bing! <laughs> What the hell? Excuse me, sir, do you have a reservation? What are you talking about, Teresa? It's me, this is my house. Nope, this is Mighty McDougal's House of Haggis. You turned our house into a restaurant? You said you wanted me home, so I came home. But it ain't fair to my customers to shut down, so I brought them with me. Thanks for being so supportive, sweetheart. I do not remember being supportive. And I do not remember you having a reservation. Cheech, will you look at what Cookie's done to this place? I know. If I do a good job, I could make dishwasher. Gina, how about getting the old man some food? I'm starving here. No can do, Pop. We're full up. <laughs> now, I'll get you a shrimp cocktail. And a beer. No dice. All we got here is Rob Royce. Can we get a Heineken, a spritzer, and a fuzzy navel? Three Rob Royce coming up. For the last time, I do not want to buy a f***ing rose! Finally, a little peace and quiet. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, seriously? And he's like, tote, seriously. Wow, so you do have genital warts. <laughs> <Then they're... laughs> Restaurant's closed! You want a doggy bag? Bag this! Hey, Jagger! Shoot on! Jimmy, have you lost your freaking mind? I can't stand it no more, Cook! I tried being supportive, but this restaurant thing is tearing our house apart! Shwash! Baby, I need you! The kids need you! Shut down this circus and let's be a family again! Wait, you said I was great! You said I deserved success, and now you're running around like a freaking animal killing my business. We're shutting this place down, too. Oh, well, beat sawn off hands. Ah, crap. That was you? How could you do that to me? Cookie, I'm sorry. I was losing my mind. You have no idea how hard it is to run a household on your own. I don't? You looked after the house for a week, Jimmy. I've been doing it for 16 years. Enjoy sleeping on the couch, mister, because you ain't getting nowhere near my meat locker tonight. That's kind of a weird thing to call your vit Oh, you mean the bedroom. Ow! If you want this <laughs> shrimp cocktail, you're going to have to throw some pants on. <laughs> Oh. Cookie's miserable, and I feel terrible. That's marriage for you. What are you gonna do? She was happy working at the restaurant, and we blew it. I gotta go make this right. How much writer can you get? 
She's back in the kitchen where she belongs. She was in a kitchen, you moron, and I'm putting her back there. Jimmy, she's already there. Teach, maybe sit this one out, all right? Fine by me. I want off this freaking emotional roller coaster anyway. <laughs> All right, what do you want? I've realized that prison rules don't apply in Canada. Here, people reward the victim, not the aggressor. If I want to be surrounded by girls like Yetzi, I need to get my ass kicked. Wait a second. You want me to beat you up in front of the girls? I want some of the action he's getting. What better way to get sympathy than by being unjustly trounced by a thug? Edie, think this through. <gasps> Hurry up, come on, hit me. No, get lost, you whack job. Come on, just a few good shots. Real quick, give me what I want. Let go of me, you freaking psycho. <gasps> now Yetzi's bully is assaulting a little girl. Get him! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? When in Rome. Okay, what are we doing here? McCool called, said there was a major situation happening. Jimmy, what's going on? And why are you dressed like an undertaker? Good evening, Chef Cookie. Welcome to the reopened Wee 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 Things. I'll be your new matron D. Good news, Cookie. Your husband helped us solve the mystery of the severed hand. <laughs> Thanks to Jimmy, your Back in business. Oh, Jimmy, you big sweet moron, you. Sorry I messed things up for you, Cook. Mm. Gosh, it's kind of slow tonight. Only two customers. It's 8.30. The place should be packed. Maybe they heard about the hand in the soup. People talk, you know. Or maybe it was the fat, naked, hairy guy hitting people with his junk. Hmm. I was worried this might happen. You see, Cookie, haggis is strictly a novelty food. People only ever try it once, usually under the influence of alcohol. So, there won't be any repeat customers? Not a one, I'm afraid. Wee 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 Thins has run its course. Then why'd you bother reopening? Yeah, why'd I get my hopes up? What can I say? For me, Scottish food can be very haggis-forming. <laughs> Give it a rest. You know what? You and your stupid restaurant just about ruined my marriage. Well? I guess I ain't a cook no more. Baby, in the kitchen of my heart, you'll always be head chef. Aww. A round of drinks for everyone! We're celebrating the birth of me son! <laughs> Saskatchewan, la 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 la